Hello everyone, I'm Sam, and uh, today I'll be doing my first ever tutorial, and um, I thought I'd start it off with uh, a teleportation effect, as seen in my newest short film. It's a 60 second uh, short film that I did for the Film Riot competition, so I haven't got the results back for that yet. Really enjoyed making it, and today I'm going to be recreating that teleportation effect inside of After Effects. So yeah, let's get into it. Alright guys, so, uh, I've got my footage, uh, as you can see, I've got me jumping in the air and kind of curling up into sort of a ball shape. And then I have a clean plate, uh, that's important because if you want to have a break in between the teleportation, if it's in the same shot, so if you look here, I start there, end there, and you want a bit of a gap in the middle, you have to have a clean plate, which is nothing else but the background. And then obviously I have the ending part, uh, where I start in the position that I finished the last jump. So here in After Effects, new composition, uh, call it whatever you want, but I'm gonna call it teleportation. Uh, then you're gonna wanna look down here, uh, frame rate, I'm going to do 24, I either do 24 or 23.976 depending on what I want to do. Uh, duration, probably going to change about 20 seconds, background black, and uh, let's go. So I'm going to get my footage, bring it in, uh, drop it in uh, to the project, plop it down here, into my composition, and we can go from here. So I'm going to find the start of the point that I want to, I'm going to find the point that I want to start from. Uh, and around here is probably good, so I'm going to select it, Control shift d to split the layer, and then delete the past layer, and then drag it out to the beginning of the timeline. So, I'm going to find the point where I'm highest, or the position I want, and I say it's about there, so I'm going to go Control shift d again, then I'm going to drag along and find the same point in that same position on when I come down, which is about there, I'd say. So, I'm going to Control shift d again, and then delete the middle layer and drag that across. Right, so now I'm going to find the amount of space I want in between the two things and I reckon that's good. So I'm going to bring it in again and then I'm going to find the clean plate which I'm pretty sure I did uh, just before the uh, thing. So I'm going to put turn off those two layers. I found my clean plate uh, and I'm going to control shift D again, delete the first part and then drag it in in the space. Uh, and yeah we have a clean plate, it rolls smoothly and that's exactly what I want. Just adjust it a little bit, get it perfect position and I will move this later on uh, and you'll see why. So I'm going to come up to the top here, layer, new, adjustment layer and this is what I'll put all my effects onto. So first we're going to look up in the effects and presets, turbulent displacement, uh, come and drag that on and first you can see, I'm just looking, Frick. nothing else is really happening. Um, so this is where we need to first of all create our mask. So I'm going to go to ellipse tool, create an ellipse mask and then what I'm going to need to do is to adjust it uh, frame by frame probably. So I'm gonna adjust it to the starting point. And to keep frame the position, I'm gonna go to mask and click the stopwatch on mask path and now every frame I'm going to adjust it. And as you can see, this now follows, uh, the mask now follows uh, and the turbulent displacement now follows me as I shrink into a ball. I'm going to extend out a little bit so I can add a um, sort of fade out of the turbulent displacement so it doesn't just uh, disappear, it kind of shrinks back in like a warp of time and space, kind of warps in and warps back out again. So what I'm going to do, go to my uh, turbulent displacement and I'm going to change the uh, mode to bulge uh, as you can see and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to keyframe uh, the amount, the size, complexity and evolution and I'm going to start off uh, lower and I'm going to build it up to get higher, so I'm start off with 0, 2, 1, and 7. And then, as it goes on, I'm going to increase all of these until it gets to the amount I want. As you can see here, towards the end, it gets much bigger. And I'm going to feather the mask. Uh, feathering this mask just makes it fit in a little bit more so it's not just a circle. It kind of works with and warps everything else, as this is a, like I said, warp through time and space. So, this is my final amount. Uh, when I get to the most, it is 70 on the amount, 54 on the size, complexity is 4.8, and around 200 uh, for the evolution. So these, these are my ones I've chosen for this specific one. You don't have to use these, it's completely up to you. Feel free to do whatever you want uh, with a turbulent displacement. This is just my personal favorite and personal preference. 
So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to the end where I want it all to, uh, to stop and I'm going to turn everything down to its original value. So, as you can see here, warps in and when I'm gone, around here, and then it warps out again. So that's exactly what I want so it doesn't just disappear because that looks unnatural. So yeah, I'm happy with that. And let's move on to adding the Mystic Puff. So at this point, you can leave it. You can just keep it with the turbulent displacement warp. Uh, just have that sort of space and time effect. Um, or you can just do what I'm about to do now, which is add like a magic puff. So it's up to you. You can just do turbulent. You can just do uh, the puff. But I like to do both. So this is what I use. Uh, I use a lot of these guys products. It is uh, Triumph Films, which is a uh, company uh, which is a company run by Film Riot, which is the YouTube channel I was talking about, love them to bits. Uh, used them for so long, literally since they started. Um, and I use the Extinction Pack, which is uh, the effects, like Cypher VFX, and for these puffs, I use the muzzle flashes, and I think it works perfectly. So it comes to VF my VFX, and if you come to muzzle flashes, I have all of these effects, all of these. Uh, but I usually go for uh, the Mystic, uh, Mystic Front, have a look at this, and yeah, perfect. So I bring it into my project, and then I'm going to drop it exactly where I want it, which is here. As you can see, it has a black background, so uh, you can turn it to Add, if you want more of a light look, or screen, which is what I'm going to go for this one, which I think just looks a bit cleaner. The black background adds, makes it easier for blending. Uh, and better for blending. So I'm gonna bring it here and the timing on it is obviously already good. So I'm gonna drag it and drop it on me, maybe uh, change the scale, but I think that's pretty good for scale at the moment, but I will adjust that. Uh, so I'm gonna go, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go to opacity, uh, click stopwatch, and then I'm gonna turn it to zero there. And when it gets back two frames later, I'm gonna turn it up to 100. So it has a bit more of a fade in rather than just uh, appear. Uh, so I am going to press S for scale and turn that up just to make it a little bit bigger and so so far it's not too bad but there is one more thing i want to do so i'm going to drag the clean plate over a couple frames uh, then what i'm going to do is i'm going to select my uh me basically the layer when i'm jumping up so i'm going to press t for opacity stopwatch add keyframes uh 100 there drag it across where i want to disappear uh, make it uh, zero uh, and as you can see, I disappear, I fade out rather than just straight disappear. And I think that looks good. So one more thing, this is like a personal stylistic choice. I get effects and presets, search up glow, drop it on. And what I like to do is go to the first thing and I like to change it to zero. And then go to a peak sort of point, which is around here. And then crank that up to uh, just one and then find uh, my other point, make sure stopwatch is clicked, and I'm gonna change it back to zero again. Now, this kind of adds another sort of warp, sort of warm effect, and it kind of works with the flash of the, of the uh, mystic thing. And I did it in, I, I was experimenting with what would look good in uh, my 60 second short film, uh, Filmmaker's Dream. And I, I just tried that out and I thought it looked good and I thought it worked with it all. What I'm gonna do now is go to Hue and Saturation and drag and drop on the Mystic uh, Whoosh. Now this means you can change to any color you want by changing this Master Hue and it will literally become whatever color you want on the color hue. Um, so you could go for something like this, a nice pinky purple, uh, or you could stick with uh, the default colors but I, I went for a uh, sort of a greeny blue, sort of like a, a turquoise, uh, more towards the green side for my uh, for, for my 60 second short film. But for this one, I'm probably just going to go with, uh, I like the blue that it has, but I'm probably just going to turn it a bit more to the green side to make it, you know, I, li I like that sort of like greeny texture. So probably about minus 25 to get a sort of green sort of turquoise hue to it, which I think is probably my favorite. And obviously you can turn down the saturation and if you want to go for a bit more of a different stylistic effect you can go to any color turn down the lightness and that'll add like rather than like a big puff it will add just more of a 
a bit more of just like a, a little sort of like light thing rather than a big massive misty explosion so that's another stylistic choice you can have I think it looks really good as well, but to be honest, I'm just going to stick with the default stuff, which is normal lightness, maybe turn the saturation to about 7, and then minus 25. So, yeah, now we've got to move on to the second half, which is me reappearing. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go and I'm going to control D, duplicate the adjustment layer, and then drag it to wherever I want. A uh, few frames before, about here, I reckon. So, uh, literally duplicated it. Want to drag it across uh, to uh, where I come back in or where you come back in, and then adjust the mask position, uh, keyframe it again. Uh, keyframes will already be there, but you just need to adjust them uh, to fit rather than going into a ball, coming out of a ball. Uh, so it's literally uh, just that, or something really simple that will just fix the whole thing, which is doing this. You can right click, time, time reverse layer, and now everything's in reverse, which is what we need. So, now, it's the same effect, but backwards, which is what's happening. Rather than going in, you're coming out of the teleportation. So, maybe do a few more adjustments on the, uh, on the mask, just to make it perfect for this, because obviously, different place, different body positions, it's not going to be perfect. Uh, so, you're going to want to adjust the mask a little bit more. So, with that out of the way, uh, moving that, you're going to want to add, come over, drag the, uh, the explosion, uh, the mystical puff, and you can obviously adjust the size of that again to fit this and move. I'm gonna, I'm, I've decided to move it a few more frames forwards just so it kind of like runs better. I think when I come out of the teleportation, it all climaxes to that point. So yeah, I think that that works for me. So yeah, I'm just gonna bump up the scale a little bit because I am closer to the camera in this, so perspective makes sense, covers me more. So yeah, so yeah, I'm happy with that. Uh, that's my teleportation effect. Feel free to do whatever you want. You can add some lighting to it. You can um, do your own turbulent displacement, obviously. Feel free to do anything. This is just the basics. You can expand that, but I think just the basic version does look good. Um, so yeah, uh, let's have a look at what we got. So then, all that's left for me, pop on a sound effect, and that should be it. Um, so here is the final, uh, final effect. Hope you guys enjoy, uh, don't forget to like, subscribe, leave a comment what you want to see next, any other effects from uh, any of my other films, basically only the 60 second short film because the ones before that were terrible, um, but I will happily do gun VFX, uh, blood, uh, anything along those lines, any sort of magical VFX, superpowers, literally anything you could think of, I'll give you guys a tutorial if you want to see it, uh, even some motion graphic stuff, uh, and I will... And if you guys want to see a tutorial of how I did the title to my um, to like my intro titles, uh, I'll happily do that with the motion graphics. Um, but yeah, hope you guys have enjoyed. Like I said, subscribe, like, leave what you want to see next. I've been Sam. Thank you for watching. Keep your eyes peeled. Keep filming. Thank you. Yeah.